क्वेश्चन नंबर 176, द अमाउंट ऑफ फिल्ट्रेट फॉर्म्ड बाय द किडनीज पर मिनट इज दिस इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ जी एफ आर ग्लोमारुलर फिल्ट्रेशन रेट अमाउंट ऑफ फिल्ट्रेट फॉर्म्ड बाय किडनीज पर मिनट इज 125 ट्वेंटी If we calculate it for the whole day, then it will come out to be 180 liter per day. However, urine production per day is only 1 to 1.5 liter. That means 99% of filtrate is reabsorbed. 1100 to 1200 ml of blood is filtered by both the kidneys in one minute the question is asking about the amount of filtrate formed by the kidneys per minute is 125 ml so correct answer to our question is option number 2 let's move on to the next question question number 177 cortical nephrons differ from juxtaglomerular nephrons in all of the following except option number 1 their number yes this is a point of difference in cortic cortical nephrons are 85% while juxtaglomerular nephrons are only 15% second option size of loop of henle yes this is also a point of difference in cortical nephron loop of henle is very short while in juxtaglomerular nephrons loop of henle is very long and may reach up to the tip of the medulla third option absence of vasa recta this is also a point of difference in cortical nephrons vasa recta is reduced or absent while in juxtaglomerular nephrons vasa recta is present fourth option presence of paratubular capillaries this is not a point of difference because paratubular capillaries are present in both cortical nephrons and juxtaglomerular nephrons so correct answer to our question is option number 4 Let's move on to the next question. Question number 178. Even in the presence of ADH, maximum reabsorption of water occurs in. Maximum reabsorption of water occurs in the proximal convoluted tubule. The water reabsorption which occurs in PCT is obligatory reabsorption of water. Water reabsorption which occurs in the distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct in presence of ADH is conditional reabsorption of water which depends on the body's need ascending limb of loop of henle is impermeable for water so correct answer to our question is option number 2 question number 179 select the incorrect statement with respect to micturition option 1 it is under voluntary control this is correct cerebrum send voluntary signals to external urethral sphincter as a result external urethral sphincter relaxes and voiding of urine occurs option 2 signal is initiated by stretching of ureters this is incorrect signal is initiated by stretching of stretch receptors present in the wall of urinary bladder option 3 cns passes on motor messages to initiate smooth muscle contraction of bladder this is correct option 4 relaxation of urethral sphincter causes micturition this is also a correct statement during micturition urinary bladder contracts and urethral sphincter relaxes so correct answer to our question is option number 2 let's proceed to the next question Question number 180 malfunctioning of kidneys can lead to accumulation of urea in blood a condition called and the options given are uremia polyuria hematuria and pyuria uremia when urea level increases in blood the condition is called uremia so correct answer to our question is option number 1 let's see other options also polyuria excess production and passage of urine is known as polyuria hematuria when blood comes in the urine that condition is known as hematuria pyuria is 
bust in theory. So correct answer to our question is option number 1. With this question, I would like to end zoology discussion of this test. I hope all your doubts and queries have been solved. Best of luck for your next exam. Thank you so much for watching.